this is the Mercedes-Benz um, gasket maker, I guess, um, for lack of a better description. But um, if you try to do this with just the sheer force of your um, hands, it, it, it's, uh, it's difficult, you'll get tired. But if you use a cheap Home Depot's or a Lowe's cock gun, you can do this so much faster. And uh, and I'm a little sloppy here. Uh, I'm sure you can do a much better job of this, but um, I'm trying to clean things up with a flathead uh, screwdriver. Uh, and again, making sure that all parts of that groove all around the cover and on the inside and all around those um, holes has got enough material. Uh, the, the shop manual recommends a uh, thickness of two millimeters uh, up to a maximum of two millimeters. As you can see mine is a little more. Don't worry about it. So this is back to the passenger side, doing that first. And, um, and I'm starting with the long bolts. The torque value for these E10 bolts is nine. Uh, you'll see a lot of misinformation on the web. Um, uh, you'll, you might find videos where they recommend eight Newton meters, no it's not 8 for um, the M113 engine, it is uh, 9 Newton meters and it is 4 for the smaller bulls, 4 uh, Newton meters for the smaller bulls. So uh, torque the crankcase cover because you have the, you know, you have a total of 10 minutes from the time you uh, apply the liquid gasket maker uh, to the grooves uh, until you have tightened the bolts. So timing is of um, essence here, it's of importance. So uh, you want to torque these two bolts first and on the driver's side of course the three bolts and then go all around the valve cover and tor torque those you you know you you can go from the center out or you know whatever but that's uh, as long as you torque all of them to the same value of nine newton meters then really it doesn't matter But what's important is the, the crankcase cover. You want to torque those bolts first because um, so that so that the the liquid gasket sits and um, and that you don't disturb, disturb it afterwards. The little bolts are not of as much consequence as the as the the bigger ones. Uh, so the new ones are not uh, 
uh, Torx bolts. They are uh, at least the ones from FCP Euro. Um, you can use Allen for uh, millimeter Allen bits to uh, tighten these or torque them to four Newton meters. The old ones from Mercedes-Benz are um, Torx, Torx uh, bolts. The new ones could be Torx or they could be depending on where you have sourced them. They could be um, Allen bolts or hex bolts also. They are known as hex bolts or Allen bolts. And so that side is pretty much done. I think I cut I cut the nozzle uh, uh, on the um, a little too far. Uh, if I had, if I had um, so so more than I think I think I'm getting two and a half three millimeters of um, gasket to come out of um, the nozzle instead of two. But uh, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Um, cleaning it up with uh, with a screwdriver. And with a paper towel. And so, uh, very carefully, uh, uh, I'm not sure why I don't have a video of that, but very carefully you put it back on, uh, just examining and looking at both sides. Um, and then, uh, so there are, I believe, four, yeah, four of these uh, longer bolts that you have to torque first and then the three smaller four newton meter ones on the driver's side uh, you can see how uh, the pressure uh, pressure washer has cleaned uh, the cover so well. If you follow this process, this should last you leak free for the next uh, 70 to 100,000 miles. So. At some point, they'll leak again.
So now the gasket, you know, from the time I started applying the gasket maker until now, it probably has been about 10 minutes. And so that's why I was in a rush to torque those four bolts first. Uh, so that, that uh, you know, you don't disturb it again, like I said before. And uh, this is why it's important that uh, that before you uh, install or put back on the crankcase covers, that you tighten these uh, these bolts holding the valve cover by hand as much as you can, not to the final torque value, but close to it so that uh, when it comes time to torquing all of them, you don't have to turn the wrench um, that many times just to save time. Uh, and uh, this is one of those that obviously I haven't, but uh, just keep that in mind. The ones closest to the firewall um, or to the cabin, those are the hardest to get to. Not just uh, these bolts, but also the spark plugs. So. You need to have the right combination depending on what extension set you have and what swivel sockets you have. These are, once again, three new bolts that I have in the kit. So, um, plugging back in the breather hoses completes uh, installation of the valve covers and the crankcase covers. And so, next uh, we'll tackle replacement of the spark plugs. Now, of course, it's a lot easier to remove the spark plugs when the valve covers are out. But I didn't do that just so that I could uh, show on video because you may not want to replace uh, your spark plugs at the same time as uh, your valve cover. So uh, that's the reason that I'm, uh, I'm removing the spark plugs, plugs with the valve covers in place. And so here I'll show you in a second how to use the uh, crow socket to torque this, the fuel line. 
and 17 millimeter. So this is uh, a crow socket that you attach to your regular wrench. This is of course a torque wrench. 28.02 foot-pounds or 38 uh, Newton meters. And then um, plug the MAF connector. Sorry about the whatever that is uh, in the video, green to the right, so you cannot see clearly. I hope you liked the video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.